Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am giving lecture on responsive design in Windows application. Before starting this lecture, I would like to show you the output of this lecture. This is a form. If you will see, when we are researching it, all the controls of this form are adjusting their position and size according to the size of this form. Now if you will see, we have a, uh, a fixed margin from both of the sides and we have a label having my responsive design a text in it which is also adjusting its position we have a grid view which is having three columns third column is automatically adjusting and filling up the rest of the space and we have these buttons which are also adjusting their uh, position with respect to form design now to build this uh, form we will I would like to uh, I will just uh, show you some of the controls which we require to build uh, such responsive form and the properties which we will require uh, so before starting anything else w first of all I would like to show you a property which is named as dock we also uh, call it as a docking property docking style also now this is the main thing which will help us to build responsive design if you will see in the docking property we have this panel this means dock control to the top this means con dock control to the bottom this means control uh, dock uh, control to the left side this is means uh, fill the control to uh, the space it has and dock the uh, control to the right hand side now if I will click on this one it will automatically push my control on the top I can only change its size but uh, the position of this control will remain uh, dock to uh, top and let me fix my form now if you will see this button will adjust its position according to the form size now this is the property which we will be using in whole uh, which will be using uh, all the time in this tutorial so uh, coming to the controls which you will require for making a responsive design we require controls which are under uh, container category the controls we will which we will be using are flow, uh, flow layout panel split container and table layout panel split container we won't be using I will just introduce uh, give you an introduction about it uh, but the main thing uh, we will use to make responsive design are flow layout panel and table layout panel now what is flow layout panel flow layout panel is an uh, panel in which we can put some uh, put our controls uh, but all the controls uh, will remain in an uh, specified or you can say a fixed hierarchy uh, not a hierarchy uh, in a, a fixed pattern from left to right or uh, right to left or you can or also do top to bottom and bottom to up so it totally depends upon you let me show you what it do let me put some of the controls let me add some of the buttons now you will see we cannot move button position anywhere if we will move it will go back to its uh, relative position let me resize it so this is what table layout panel do if you will prop uh, if you will see the its property flow direction if i will do top to bottom bottom to uh, left to right and bottom top uh, bottom up it will adjust all the controls according to that now what we will do is we will just ad uh, adjust uh, we will set the dock property of this table uh, flow layout panel to bottom uh, now we do have this now I will select flow direction from right to left and I will do this now if you will see all of my buttons will remain at the bottom end. now there is one more thing if you have adjusted any of this layout uh, to a bottom uh, like I have uh, adjusted uh, I have just set docking property to bo uh, dock it uh, this uh, flow layout panel to bottom now if I will select this property for this button then this button will lie up over it so here we can adjust this one but this will uh, this control will lie over the first control which has been placed uh, which has been set with this uh, property bottom uh, uh, docking to uh, dock to bottom now if you want to uh, place controls multiple under same docking property 
so what we will do is we will use a table layout panel here we will put uh, we will set its doc property to fill now we can add different rows and columns into it let's uh, after adding these columns and rows you have to go into edit row and columns now I can fix the size of both of the column I have fixed 20 pixel absolutely and for the se uh, sec uh, center column I have specified 100% the rem uh, it will occupy the remaining space now coming back to this one I have set row size to 40 and again 40 I will set this row size and I will set 100% to the second row yes. now you can see it has automatically adjusted all the sections now in in between this one as I told you that I need two uh, button panels uh, at the bottom so what I will do is I will place one more tail table layout in, in this I will set its margin property to 0 so that I could have my controls there I will remove one of the uh, rules and I will set its docking property to fill now I have a two division here now I will drop to flow layout panel here I will set their margin again 0 and I will dock it to fill now it will automatically fill in the section which it is in you can add only one control within one cell of this table layout so that's why uh, whenever you need two or more controls you have to put one more ta table layout in that cell and you can put more controls there I will set again it to fill now I will drop two buttons at bottom here and at the bottom on the second layout panel but what I will do is I will adjust its position to uh, flow to white now if we will run our program and we ch if we check our form if I adjust it all buttons are on their own positions they are not overlapping each other or not adjusting uh, there is uh, they are adjusting their position according to the page size now uh, let's add some design also I don't like control color at all now we will add and label here and we will set its auto size property to false and we will set its dock property to fill and coming to the text alignment I will select center now I will set my responsive design now coming to this one in the center form I am just putting my grid view data grid view and I will set its dock property to fill let's have some color here light green now uh, there is one more thing we you can see there is a margin in each of these uh, control so if you want to fill it completely just set its margin to zero now you can see now margin has been filled now coming to this my grid view uh, let me add some columns let's add name city and address now if you will see we have three columns but they are not adjusting uh, their uh, uh, size according to the design according to the form design uh, form uh, form size let's run this we have two positions first of all my label is working uh, on uh, working as a responsive label my buttons are on their position but and grid view are also adjusting its size but my columns are not adjusting so for this you just have to go into the column property edit column into address go to the auto size and you have to select fill in all of the controls we do have this fill property so you can adjust it uh, for any of the control uh, on any form so it will adjust itself as compared to that so this is our responsive design now telling you about some of the more uh, some more controls we have 
to add one more form windows application I will resize it I will set this form to the startup 3 and I will add split controller here spin controller automatically uh, make it self dock to the form size now what I will do is I will add two button here and I will set their dock property to fill on both of the split container and if I will run my project my form first of all they are resizing second if I move split container then also they are resizing themselves so split container is very good control whenever you have some work regarding splitting your form into divisions uh, we have other container too table uh, tab control if you will see this tab control there is also one more property dock for, uh, dock is uh, the property which is for every control so you can set it to make it uh, resizable as uh, as uh, with respect to the design so the main magic is of dock property and the table layout panel if you know uh, about these things you can make a responsive design in windows application so uh, subscribe this uh, subscribe my channel have a good day keep learning be happy